Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Overmont Stock Investing. I'm here at home. It's Thursday morning and it's a little bit cold, but I'm sitting under my beautiful cherry blossom tree. And I think that's a good time to do a recording for somebody very special. Her name is Julia Engelmann and she's a slam portraitist. I, I visited her yesterday in Zurich in Kaufleuten and she did a wonderful performance and she received a standing ovation. And this morning when I got up, I thought, well, Julia Engelmann is 23 year old. 23 years, you know, what should she do with her retirement savings? And I thought, well, she should start today. And what I think would be, I thought like, I could help her identify the right stock. And that's what I did. I went to my website, which you see now in front of us. I go to stocks, I go to stock filter, and I open the Overmont stock filter to identify stocks for Julia Engelmann. And First, what I would do is I would tell Julia, Julia, you know, you're 23 year old. You don't have a lot of experience in the stock market. Start with the very largest stocks. Why should you do that? Very well, it's very simple. The largest stocks are run by lots of professional people with lots of experience. And these are the stocks that are a lot safer because there's so many people interested in making that stock run. So it's actually going to be windy here. I hope it's not too bothersome for you to listen to us to me today and of course because Julia Engelmann is German I would recommend her you know buy stocks from Germany what you see here is now all the top 10 stocks all the top stocks from Germany you know select um, uh, ranked by combined by the combined strategy now Julia is probably you know too young to buy a car right now the German car manufacturers are a kind of in a difficult situation. I probably wouldn't go for Daimler at this moment for Julia. I wouldn't go for Generali, which is life and health insurance. Not something that she gets really excited about it. Munich Re, much too complicated. RWE, I heard that they have problems with nuclear energy. A young person like Julia probably doesn't want to invest in nuclear energy. SAP, something very complicated, high tech, very hard to judge. Volkswagen with all that smoke issues, you know. Lufthansa is definitely a stock I would never buy. I would never buy an airline industry stock uh, because airlines uh, are in, in a very difficult market. So what I see here is actually the first stock that I would feel quite comfortable buying, Metro. Metro, supermarkets, um, hypermarket super centers with really good ratings, good combined rating, excellent value of 100. 63 growth, 63 safety, safety. I would probably tell, you know, Julia, Metro is a safe bet. You know what you get. It's something you need. Germany is growing with all the refugees. This has a lot of future because everybody needs to buy. And Metro is a really well-run company. Now, when you go through the stock ratings, I would probably tell her, look, it was really bad, you know, but now it's really good for two years already, uh, or at least for one year to be safe. Uh, it's already a very, very good stock. Very metrics are fantastic. It's all green. You don't need to know about that. It's all green. Just worry about red stuff. Well, there's not so much liquidity. I would tell her, uh, you know, there's a lot. There's not much leverage, which means there there's not much debt. So even if the liquidity right now is tight, don't worry about that too much. The overall safety rating is still 63. You can go for everything above 50. I, I will probably say like this is a stock Julia could buy. Um, let's have a look at the website of Metro. Let's uh, let's see what they do. Made to trade, you know they they are they first of all they have uh, a, a, a mobile friendly website. So if you make that smaller, you can see even on a smartphone it looks really good. Um, but let's keep it brick for now. Let's look what they're doing. Metro Group for trips market inside Metro News. Now in German. Um, they did a digital conference. Okay, Julia Engelmann's gonna like that. She made her name on YouTube with several, several million uh, views. And uh, Metro Group is doing something that is called Us Together, an integration initiative. Um, what is this? Let's have a look at what this is, you know. What do they do here at Metro? 40 other companies do it too. Um, they actually, the goal of that initiative is the integration of refugees. Well, that's really an easy case for Julia. Julia is very integrative. She welcomes other people. 
she's probably going to like that Metro invests their own money to make sure refugees are integrated in Germany. That's also really important for the future. So I think the first bet uh, for Julia Engelmann uh, to start her retirement savings must be Metro. Metro is a really good stock. I'm going to buy that too. I'm going to put Metro in my portfolio and I'm going to keep track on that and see how good that recommendation was. Now, the good thing here is, Julia, you don't have to worry about stock investing for another three to six months because you don't have too much money to invest. So at the beginning, you just do it every three or six months. You do exactly what I did right now. You go to the website at Overmart, you find the stock that you like, where the ratings are good. You look at the stock on the website because that's all you need. Uh, the professionals don't know much more either. And if they do, it's insider information and they are forbidden to use it. So you don't have to really worry that um, that you're doing something wrong. And then just buy the stock with your own discount broker to save money. This is what I recommend to you. That was for us uh, here a recommendation to a young person, 23 year old, how she could start her own stock investing. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.